Len Berman for Buzz 60. The kid is gone. Gary Carter has died far too young. The Hall of Fame catcher made his name in Montreal, but it was his trade to New York that made the Mets. In his opening day debut in 1985, he hit a game-winning 10th inning homer. The next year, he won it all. It was Carter who started that 10th inning rally in Game 6, which culminated in Mookie Wilson's ground ball through Bill Buckner's legs. He just refused to make the last out of the World Series. The Mets beat the Red Sox in seven and haven't won since. He was an 11-time All-Star in his 19-year career, winning the game's MVP award twice, a three-time Gold Glove winner. But strip away all the baseball heroics, and it was Carter's personality that was always shining. Deeply religious, upbeat, friendly to all, including the media. Some teammates mistook that for phoniness. It wasn't. That's who Gary was. In May of 2011, he was diagnosed with brain tumors, and now he's lost his battle. What memories he's left us. Thanks, kid.